I got to go to Mass about the Holy Word. Give him a big hand. All right. That was so fun. That was a lot of fun, right? I know. Okay, so now they went away to uh, they went away to Cayman Islands. That's you right. went away to Mexico. We're not going to talk about it yet. We're going to talk no, about it a little fine. bit later. You yeah. had a great time. Your photos are beautiful. I had an amazing time. Yes, yeah, always. So we're going to make something inspired by your vacation too. That's right. Mexican That's right. zucchini stew with but steak. You know what? This was a staple in uh, in, in uh, hotel. And uh, at breakfast, I would have the zucchini stew with a little bit of egg on top, and that would. would was just Bacon amazing eggs, for me. Done Mexican yeah, I, style. and then a little bit of beef. Yes. You know, amazing carne asada, and uh, you know, I mean, it's just uh, beautiful. Okay. So I, um, you know, th this is very simple. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, this was my first time in Mexico after 30 years. It's been that long. Yeah, it's huh? been that long. What because took I, you? I, well, I spent so much time going back to Italy that know. Uh, you know I never have time for a vacation. Yeah. You know so. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the you. similarities between uh, Mexican food and Italian are really uh, uh, astounding, really. Okay. You know, I mean, I find that, uh, like the zucchini too. I mean, that could be an Italian dish if you removed a couple of the elements that are in it. Yeah, that's true. And uh, one thing I found out is that they don't use as much uh, as much chili as uh, we think they do. Oh, right. Because you know, we do. Uh, as we much think hot, 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 and all hot, of that hot, stuff. But yeah, not I know. Um, but I was trained by the special chefs of the of the resort that I was staying at, and uh, the. You know, they were showing me all of this stuff, and uh, it was very simple, actually. So, uh, to achieve that, very mm -hmm. simply, zucchini, they can be cut in circles like that, or in sticks. Okay. Depending on how you want them. Now, I like the, sticks. Uh, the way you put them in, in the, in the pan, it, it depends on how you want it cooked, okay? I like my zucchini a little bit more cooked, yeah. so I don't like them crunchy. Yeah. So, I, uh, I start them off immediately with zucchini in a pan, olive oil, and just toss them. Let them get soft mm -hmm. a little bit, and then you add onions. Yeah. Beautiful white onions. Lots and lots of onions in uh, in Mexico. Yeah, there are. In the uh, salsa, in the, in the pico de gallo, in the, oh, a, I'm everything a fan. is about I like onions. onions. It's Sweet not great onions. for the breath, but oh. they're they're awesome. Well, these are cooked, right? So yeah. then let me let me start up the really engine care. over here. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> then we put a little garlic. Yeah. Okay. Just like that, and then we add a little oregano. Here's what I want to know. When you when you go on vacation and you're, you know, you're staying at a resort or whatever, do you yep. always feel the need to go in there into the kitchen and figure out what's going on or do you just want to relax and be served? No, I want to relax and be served. Okay. Are you kidding me? Because oh. you're saying, you know, some God, of the chefs yeah. there showed you some yes, of these things. To me, that's not vacation. Like, because you work with food all the because time. Because eventually it always gets out of time and uh, I'm a cook. So, oh, you know, that's... So they're like, hey, uh, let's give you a tour. Exactly. You're like, no, thank you. You know, when you walk in and you register and they ask you, what is your profession? And you say, oh, yeah. damn, what am I? Just say, I'm, I'm just say an TV Italian host. on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's say it. TV host. <laughs> Do you think they'll give me more stuff? No, they'll know that you don't know anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can just chill out on a cabana. That, that's right. So that's oregano. Now we're going to start cooking our steak in a, in a pan Ooh, just like that. Sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. And this is, uh, this is flat iron, okay? And I made a, a marinade for it okay. with ancho chili yeah. and uh, a little sugar, a little salt, garlic, lime juice, and uh, that's about it. A okay. little bit, maybe a little bit of cilantro. Yeah. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So we have our zucchini cooking away. and beautifully too look at that okay so now the only difference is we have to season it with a little bit of ancho chili not too much is it super, it's not hot? super hot no, no it's not super hot there is so many there is so many chilies it's unbelievable so many peppers of so many different varieties yeah and a lot of them are just sweet and they just provide that little sweetness that is unbelievably good that's uh, the kind I like. I find yeah. as I get older though I want hotter and hotter you do I do I'm I do not, like I'm a little bit of bite heat. I'm I not like crazy about hot. heat so I'm not going to put any oil on that, otherwise we're going to have a smoke out of it. But in any case, a good facial. beautiful corn. Yeah. And now I'm thinking, you know, with all the things that came from the Americas, I'm thinking, uh, what were they eating in Europe before, uh, before we discovered peppers, corn, uh, <laughs> zucchini, squash, and uh, potatoes, and tomatoes, and uh, what, what were they eating? Potatoes. They, yeah, they were eating beets. Yeah, they were eating beets. That's what beets. they were eating. And cabbage. Root I vegetables. Guess. I know, I know. That, that is crazy to me. It was a fun diet, let me tell you. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. So then we're going to add tomato. Okay. okay. And a beautiful chopped tomatoes over here. Just gonna add them all. And this will make my sauce. Look at that color. Yeah, this is uh, this is the color of freshness. 
I have a little bit of vegetable stock. I mean, if you don't have vegetable stock, I mean, now it's available in every supermarket. You can find yeah. vegetable stock. I mean, it's not a problem, but the water will do as well. And then you just let it braise, okay? So leave it there for a little yeah. while. How's this our one steak here? doing? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now you leave it here a little bit, mm -hmm. and then what happens is within five, 10 minutes, you're gonna have this. What yeah. a beautiful looking stew. And that's that's the beauty. I mean, look at it. Yeah. Perfectly green. This to keep the color. Now, if you leave it, if you leave it cooling off uh, and you eat it later on in the day, I mean, obviously the zucchini are gonna discolor. Right. Okay. So that's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a problem. If you want to have the beautiful colors all over the place. Yeah. But you know, you have to understand that not all food always looks uh, amazing. Amazing, right? Yeah. I mean, the pictures that you see in a magazine are completely different than what. Uh, you actually eat sometimes. Well, they do stuff to that food, well, don't they? they? Well, sometimes. You know, I mean, there is a uh, little tricks. Tell us the secrets. <laughs> Their food know? styling is its own thing, and so many of you, you don't have one. Food styling that is comes a whole to science. the show, but yeah, many right. of the chefs that come on, they have food stylists, and they that's do, what right? makes things look so beautiful. But the bottom line is, it's all going in the same place. It all tastes good. We're gonna have to talk to the higher ups and uh, really get our food styling going. Yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> I think you do a good job on your own. It looks okay. amazing. So, so we're gonna put this recipe on our go. website. That's Absolutely. the Mexican zucchini stew with flat iron steak. It looks amazing. More about his vacation later yeah. on in the show. We're going to break. Stay with okay. us. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful.